Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Uh, this is Muhammad Harun Idris uh, on Best Car Fixes. Please subscribe, share, and like here. Today we have my friend. Uh, he have a 2007 BMW with uh, no startability and a steering lock sign on the dashboard. He has this problem for how long? About almost like three, four months now. Like three, four months, and he Googled all over the world, tried to get some solution, and he get my video, one of my videos. Um, hopefully, this will help you fix your car. You may need a scanner or uh, some kind of diagnosis. There is a lot of uh, diagnosis tool there. Beautiful blue color. I love it. Okay, now let's go ahead. I am going to use uh, a Snap-on scanner, which is there. Okay, you see here? That is the sign. The sign will give us headache. There is a bypass also that you can disconnect the steering lock control module, which is inside the steering column, and then you plug it in, code it, and it will work. But let us right now go and see this why this sign here, which prevent the car from uh, cranking or start. Sometimes this sign is yellow, sometimes it's red, but either way, I'm using uh, this tool here. Now, I'm gonna go to my scanner, Okay, and I gotta put the hazard light on. Be sure your battery is fully charged. You see, I connect it to the OBD2. This is a wireless snap on. Snap on have a lot of software there. Now I'm gonna go to BMW. This car is parked almost three months. We try to read the information. We are able to read it. Three series E92, E93. Good. I'm able to read the information from CAS module. Let me go to the CAS module. Engine uh, electronic immobilizer and cast continue. Hopefully, now here look if there is any code. You're gonna see like code, uh, code related to control unit fault. You see A0 Apple Apple or A0 B5 road speed signal that could be with the ABS pass control unit fault. I'm gonna go back here and then I will go to clear code. I'm not sure if this code will be cleared. Let me go to function test. Under the function test, you're gonna see special function. Leave this one, go to special function. Now you have car, cast resynchronization, lock and enable master key ELF, ELV, fall counter reset. This is our mission here. You go to this one here. If you have a car like this, now continue. The following procedure will carry out the ELV counter, full counter reset. You can continue in progress. I hear something. The internal electric steering column lock fault counter has been reset successfully. I am very happy for that. Say continue. Please cycle the ignition to complete procedure after, uh, to complete procedure after service function clear code in the control module. Now I'm going to do this one. Take this one out. Stop the other light. How long it takes? 7 minutes, 7, 30 something minutes. We're going to wait. There. I'm going to put the key inside. You see there 41 coming. I don't see the sign. I'm going to push one button. Are you, get, are you there? All of you? 1, 2, 3, 4, nothing. Okay, go again out, put it back. Okay. It doesn't want to go out. Okay, let me try it again. No code present. Okay. Now, is my battery dead? Yeah, it looks like the battery is weak. That's why I cannot do anything. You know, we, we put a jumper from there to here just to charge the battery. The car is running now. But before we go, we need to see what happened. Heat is working. Everything is good. The hazard light is working. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Please subscribe, share, and like, and see you in another video.
This is Muhammad Harun Idris, Brooklyn, New York, United States of America. Thank you.